so season of the plunder is coming to an end and in this video I want to wrap up the season by showing you all the best fashion from myself and my discord. I have 28 fashion sets to show you all, all of which use at least one armor piece from this season. Now if you want to participate in any of my future videos then I will leave a link to my discord in the description. Also be sure to leave a like and subscribe as I featured an incredible amount of sets in this video. And with all out the way it's time I show you all the best fashion of season 18. So I'm going to be starting off with my best fashion for each class and then I'll show the best ones from my discord. So for the hunter my favourite set that I made this season was my snake themed hunter set. This set was mainly built around the charmed up short ornament for the liar's handshake, an exotic that I've been using so much throughout Ark 3.0. With the new gambit cheater emerald splash I knew it was a perfect choice because of the scaly effect it has on both plating and cloth. And you can see the king's full cloak has this really awesome fang design around the hood and I felt that this matched really well with the ends of the Chandam Shore ornaments. And what makes this set even better is the fact that it pairs perfectly with the Gamba Memento on crafted weapons. I'm really pleased with how this set turned out and it's definitely one of my all time favourites for the Hunter. And I also forgot to mention that this set looks amazing with the Yun Amakara Spine ornament. You can see that the side with the darker green plating is consistent with the boots in the set, as the left hand side uses more plating with the darker green, whereas the right side has less plating with a lighter green but anyways let me know your thoughts on my snake themed hunter set in the comments below now moving on i want to show you all my best titan set this season which uses the new exotic point contact cannon brace i definitely recommend using the eidolon pursuant plate with these exotic arms as with a lot of chest plates these arms can look quite awkward this is mainly due to the exotic arms being a bit small for the male titan this won't be much of an issue for any of you that use female titans now for the other piece I wanted to keep consistent with the mechanical look and piping, hence why I used the Forge Machinist boots and the Braytech helm. The only problem with the Braytech helm though is the fact that the yellow on the visor piece cannot shade, so it did force me into using a yellowish shader to help it match. Now if you don't like this helmet and want more freedom with the colours you use, then I would recommend the Contender helm from the Guardian Games event. The roundish shape matches really well with the shoulder plating on these exotic arms, and a shader I do think looks really good with this is Queen's Colours from the Throne World, but let me know what you all think of this set in the comments below. Now I'm going to be moving on to my final and best fashion set for the Warlock. I wanted to sort of make it look like a pirate but infused with arc, hence the use of the catch killer's robes. And you can see that I am using the newest warlock exotic, the Fallen Sunstar. I try my best to pair the boots, bond and gloves with the helmet. I think I did a really good job of it, as you can see the bond has pointy metal just like the helmet. And the boots and gloves have that sort of groove design just like the faceplate of the exotic. The shader if you don't know is from a flawless completion of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. The silver from this shader really helps the plating to stand out, and this shader also makes cloth have this slight bluish hue which matches really well with Ark. So yeah, they are pretty much my best fashion sets of this season. Let me know what you all think of them in the comments below. And now it's time I show you all 25 of the best fashion sets from my Discord. So starting off, this first set is from Brump and uses the Point Contact Cannon Brace. Love the use of the Eidolon Plate and Midnight Exigen Greaves and how they transition them together with the Legacy Oath Mark. The Shader Throne of Suit really well blends this set together with the Braytech ornaments for the No Time to Explain. Now Brump has also made some other incredible sets this season and I felt that this one was also worth showing. It's a nice full silver titan set that has a bit of a knightly look and uses the Mark 44 standard sides exotic. I absolutely love how this looks as in Silvered Snare is one of my all time favourite shaders. If you want to see more of their fashion then I will leave their Instagram on screen and in the description. Now moving on this next set is from Stanky and is called Way of the Falcon. You can definitely see elements of the bird theme from the whole set. It also uses five different armor pieces and shaders which is very impressive so really good job to Stanky on the set. Now next up we have this set from Solace and it's called the Dark City Detective. Again another set that uses five different shaders and I especially love how this helmet looks with the shader Venomous. Definitely one of the most unique and interesting designs for a warlock helmet and overall a fantastic detective set from Solace. Now moving on this next set is from Vanquish and it's called the 
Firefly. Fantastic use of shaders, I also like how they match the glow on the arms with the boots and its whole look definitely fits the name Firefly. Now if you don't know who Vanquish is, they are another Destiny fashion content creator. They make some really creative fashion as you can see here with their Electron Warlock. If you want to see more unique and amazing fashion like this then I will leave their socials on screen and in the description. Now anyways moving on we have this next set from Beefamous Prime. They went with a full bone look and this matches really well with the Osteostriga ornaments and with these other scaly armor pieces it really does match the design of the helmet. So really good job to Beefamous on the set. Then for any of you edgy hunters we have this set from Reverdike called the Bloody Reaper. Now when I first seen this I was really surprised to find out that you four different shaders as to me it does look like it's just using one. You can also see that they added the Burnout Sparrow which I think was a perfect choice to go alongside the set. And yeah overall with the helmet and cloak combination it definitely gives off the look of a reaper. Now these next three sets all use this season's Crucible Shader Scarlet Semblance which by the way will be going at the end of the season. Now I do really like this hunter set from Ataru although I think this could have looked even better and more menacing with the beastly visage ornaments for the Mask of Bacris. Then this next Scarlet Semblance set comes from Fancy Pants Oryx and it's for the Warlock. They use the new Grasp of the Void ornaments for the Controverse Hold Exotic. With these other scaly and bloody pieces it blends really well together and makes it look like a hive. And then the final set with this shader comes from Oxy Gaming and is on a Titan. Really like how they themed the set around the season with it being fallen. And the Sivo ornaments they used for their weapon really fits the roughened look of the rest of the set. Definitely my favourite of the three sets so really good job to Oxy Gaming. Now moving on we have another Gaia Falcon set from Grosui. The helmet they used here always reminds me of this Celestial Night Hawk exotic mainly because it does have a bit of a beak design on the helm and given the ship and sparrow they used it does fit really well. Overall a very good look and you can see the catch killer pieces work really well with the Gaia Falcon. Now next up we have this really clean titan from Mouse and they used the shader Argenteraton. The glow colour is perfect effect in this set as it matches with the flawless glow on the trials mark and I especially like the combination of the Nemian plate and the catch killers gauntlets. Now I also wanted to show another one of their sets from this season and as you can see it's a really good use of the shader gunmetal marigold. The wings of sacred dawn and the kitsune helm especially look good with this shader and I definitely felt they was worth showing. If you want to look at more of their amazing fashion then I will leave their Instagram on screen and in the description. Now moving on we have this starry to scale set from cleans you can see they went with this golden scaly look to match the boots and the cloak if you don't know does have this moving spine which is very similar to the fins of a fish and also something great about the shader ancient wisdom is that the glow on the boots does match well with the cloak and the unshadable blue parts on the front of the boots also match well with the cloth on the chest and arms it's definitely one of the harder hunter exotics to fashion so incredible job on the set now this next one from excel isn't meant to be flashy it's meant to fit the season and I think they did that really well. They used three different shaders to get a nice full leather look and I especially like how they used the bandana and the helm to make it look more like a pirate. So fantastic job to Accelero on the set. Now moving on we have this really interesting look from Shifter called the Sunken Sailor. Now what really makes this set amazing is the use of the shader Blue Shift Dreams. Up close on Platon you will notice this wavy animated texture which looks very similar to the ocean and fits the name Sunken Sailor and they even have a harpoon on the back of the cloak so really good job and well thought out set from Shifter. Now as we're on the theme of blue here is a set from Monkey Snail. Very unique look using the new gilded memento exotic ornaments. I especially like how they made it stand out with the shader Bioloom and you can see with the shader Cursed Azure on the cloak it creates this wavy blue pattern and overall makes for a very unique hunter set. Now they also made a very unique I have another world set that I felt was worth showing. Love how all the pieces match and I do find it quite funny how Blood Main creates a silver and gold look yet the shader icon doesn't even show any of those colours. But anyways if you want to check out more of their fashion then I will leave their Instagram on screen. They also like to post the best sets from the community so feel free to DM him your sets. 
Now anyway, moving on, we have Owen Pappy with a barnacle set. Given the cloak they used, the name makes a lot of sense. And I really do like how the catch killer vest blends with the iron world boots. If you look underneath the plating, you will notice the same sort of striped pattern. So really good attention to detail from Owen Pappy. Then here is another hunter set from Revex. They used the shader whispered sheen, which creates a wooden look on plating. This, in my opinion, fits really well with the design of the Valhund exotic ornament. My only issue with the set is the little bit of blue which is unshaderable on the left arm but other than that i do think it looks great then we have a titan set from fix tony that goes with this royal design i really like how they kept consistent with the royal pattern on the helmet arms and boots and with the heart of inmost light it actually fits really well because they match the glow on the boots and the eyes with the cracks in the chest plate so really good job to tony and if you want to see more of their fashion they actually make destiny fashion videos on youtube definitely recommend checking them out if you want to see fashion for specific exotics now we're on to the final few sets with this set from Prada using the Yun Amakara spine. I especially like how they shaded the Canis Luna mask with Dream and Spectrum to match the Bone Skull of the Exotic. Then we have Joe Pew Pew with this really clean red and white Titan set. I never really see this helmet be used that often, but I do really like how it looks here. And what I really think is great about this set is the combination between the Veritas plate and the Brave Titan mark. It almost looks like the mark is part of the jacket because of the way it's lined up. So yeah, fantastic job to Joe Pew Pew on this set. And then the final set from the Discord is another Titan and it's from Techno Viking. They based this set off of Roadhog from Overwatch and I think they did an incredible job of it. I love how they recreated the belly using the Catch Cutter's plate and the spiky yellow shoulder plating matches really well with the spiked tire on Roadhog. They also have the blue jeans and gas mask which I think fits really well. And if you haven't noticed it already, there is a hook on the chest plate. So yeah, an incredible job to Techno Viking on their Roadhog set. But anyways, that pretty much wraps up the best fashion of Season 18. Thank you to everyone that submitted a set, and I hope you all like my picks as well as my sets. Feel free to timestamp in the comments which sets are your favourites. I would be interested to know which ones you all like the most. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and join my Discord server through the link in the description. Also, massive thank you to all my YouTube members for providing additional support to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.